Here we see dynamic power lap simulation. We are leveraging uh, capability of uh, state-based uh, power roll-up pattern when we are switching the states of the load. Uh, we provide the um, load for the battery and also we see that uh, the load is translated through the connector with this new capability especially useful for the electric uh, system simulation and power load and we see also that there is constraint which is if it is breaking you know the limit max load limit we get the um, validation error that uh, this load is too high uh, this uh, uh, model is also interesting that most uh, of the parts are generic so uh, most of the blocks are generic so for example we see load blocks right and then we have those different loads which we can rename you know so for example like uh, lightning load then uh, heating load uh, or cooling load and so on and then we have uh, the power providers here which is the um, used as the battery but could be also others based on the same pattern and uh, then um, in this model, as we can see here, we have also the um, uh, ability to see the properties based on the actual uh, usage of the block, you know. So those, uh, all those properties are uh, used as inherited, right? So they are the same for every component and then we see the value on the part directly during the simulation. So this is very helpful. So now let's try to enhance the sample you know let's add the chart which we will track you know the load change over time right because it would be visual a uh, visual and it is really easy to do it like uh, for example power power load load and then let's say that system will be tracked in this timeline chart and then let's go and configure it uh, we'll see like zero state change and also we'll track the state uh, of the load uh, of that load and also the power of the battery so now let's go back and let's run the simulation so we see this as you can see here state of the each uh, uh, load uh, off and on right and then the battery uses so let's switch the usage we see the state is increasing the load is increasing and we see what caused that increase then finally we increased and we see like what is causing this increase specifically. We don't track time precisely because this was not, uh, you know, like to demonstrate the time uh, based simulation. It was just like uh, to show the static load change, you know, which we could be updated with the precise time tracking. And then we see like, for example, if I will decrease this load still, uh, you know, the constraint is breaking, right? You see what constraint here when we drag it. Uh, and now decrease more, you know, now it's okay, right? So we can save results, you know, to CSV, to, to PNG and so on. Now also we see this constraint, you know, which is uh, uh, no way to add, you know, on the, on the um, block level because those properties are inherited and they are common like power properties common for every block, right? So we can actually use also even requirement to provide this constraint for power usage, which would be contextual and use contextual uh, satisfy relations. So let's do it. Let's create a requirement. So let's go here, for example, as you can see here, power provider has the property load, right? And uh, this is actually system has just a uh, parts which referenced by this uh, uh, reference uh, use this block as a part of with the different name like for example battery see so actually battery so here we have the battery as a power right and but the property here so we can't apply the constraint because it will be uh, for the all the uh, uh, blocks right so let's create a requirement um, and this requirement again could be imported right so like power load uh, and let's say our load shall not exceed 20 watts. Let's go and select in containment tree. Let's go to IBD and drag it to IBD as you can see here. And then let's show the power as a value property. We show the power of the uh, battery and then let's create satisfy relation. So now when we will simulate, we'll see, and you can see here natural language analysis 
power shall be less than 20 but it's contextual just for this part let's run it now same uh, chart right uh, same constraints everything is okay but now constraint is provided from requirement and if we increase the load we'll see not that constraint is failing but we see that requirement is not satisfied here you go so now we see that requirement actually was not satisfied at that moment when all load was on